they have only just buried the hatchet after feuding in public for six years. Yet Katy Perry seems to have already found a reason to be mad at Taylor Swift. After the Shake It Off hit maker, 28, made Katy's private apology letter very public. Katy, 33, is believed to feel upset because the introduction to the letter, which was published on Instagram on Tuesday, suggests Katie accepts full responsibility. Katie expected that Taylor would post something about it, a friend told The Sun online. But she didn't expect the actual letter to go on social, says her friend. The thing is, you can only see part of what Katie wrote and it looks like she's taking sole responsibility for the entire feud. Without context, it looks like she's taking the blame for everything and obviously there's a lot more to it than that. Katie's letter began, Hey old friend, I've been doing some reflecting on our miscommunications and Though feelings between us, on posting the contents of an envelope sealed with a puppy dog sticker, Taylor made it very clear who it was from, writing thank you Katie in red with pink hearts. Swift, who began her reputation to that evening, specifically. Snap part of the letter that read deeply sorry. This comes almost one year after Perry said she wanted to finish their feud. The singers have been embroiled in a feud since Taylor claimed the Bon Appetit. Singer stole three of her backing dancers from her Red Tour in 2012. In 2014, Taylor released the single Bad Blood, which was believed to be about her feud with Katie. And the star has seemingly retaliated with single Swish Swish, which is also reportedly about their battle. Perry, who dates Orlando Bloom, said in 2017, Honestly, it's really like she started it and it's time for her to finish it. And Katie claims she tried to talk to the blonde beauty about the feud some time ago, but claims she wouldn't speak to her. Katie added, she wouldn't speak to me. I do the right thing any time that it feels like a fumble. It was a full shutdown and then she writes a song. About me and I'm like okay, cool, cool, cool. That's how you wanna deal with it? The hitmaker admits that her single Swish Swish is a direct reaction to Taylor's, as she says the star has to learn about the law of cause and effect. She continued, but, what I wanna say is that I'm ready for that BS to be done. Now. There is the law of cause and effect. You do something and there's going to be a reaction. And trust me daddy, there's going to be a reaction. It's all about karma. But Katie doesn't want to fight with Taylor any longer, as she believes that women need to come together in order to heal the world. Speaking to James Corden during an episode of The Late Late Show Carpool Karaoke Primetime Special in 2017, Katie said, I think personally that women together, not divided, and like none of this petty s. Women together will heal the world. Taylor has also been fighting with Kanye West and Kim Kardashian. 
she alluded to the fallout on Tuesday night, when she took to Instagram to show off a new Golden Snake microphone, ready for the tour. Taylor reflected, a couple of years ago, someone called me a snake on social media and it caught on. And then a lot of people called me. A lot of names on social media. I went through some really low times for a while because of it. I went through some times when I didn't know if I was gonna get to do this anymore and I guess the snakes. I wanted to send a message to you guys. That if someone uses name calling to bully you on social media and even if a lot of people jump on board with it, that doesn't have to beat you. It can strengthen you instead.